Are you tired of juggling different plugins just to let your clients edit their website without breaking your design? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to build a fully customizable page builder using Payload CMS. This is Chris with Westside Technology Solutions. Today, I'm talking about how to leverage Payload CMS to create a page builder that puts you or your clients in full control of your website or web application. Let's take a look. So most CMS users want the freedom to be able to create new pages or sections on the fly, especially if they can do it without developer help. Payload CMS lets you define structured blocks, making it easy to maintain design consistency and avoid plugin overload. If you've seen any of my videos before, you know I'm really happy about the code base configuration for Payload CMS. It also has a flexible schema and easy integration with modern JavaScript stacks. With Payload, you're not really locked into any sort of rigid setup. You can customize anything you want. So to demonstrate the potential of this, I've created this demo site. Um, it's super simple. It's not a live site. It's not really polished, but I wanted to show you how the page builder might work on a real site. So I made this new page collection here, and each collection item represents a website page. And then within this collection, I've got a field for blocks. Each block is a reusable section, like hero, testimonial, call to action, etc. What we do is we render these blocks dynamically on the front end as they're selected in the back end. So how is this done? Well, the first thing that we need to do is create our page collection. In this schema, we've added a blocks field, like I mentioned, that references an array of possible block types. So looking at one of these blocks here, um, they've all got a name and a type to indicate which type of block they are. For example, this is a features block that has a dropdown that lets you choose different icons and update the text. This approach is very modular. You can add more blocks later without touching each page's schema. Everything is neatly organized in your code, making updates quick and easy. So here in the admin on the page collection item, you can see the blocks field. We can take any of the sections or the blocks that we've indicated in the pages collection and put them in any order that we want, giving us a very dynamic layout, allowing us to build pages. So how this works is the site iterates over the blocks and renders out each one of the blocks onto the page. Exactly what you see here in the admin panel represents what is actually on the page. So if you want to make an update, you go ahead and update it save it and the site is updated you can also change the order giving you full control over your web pages and just a tip keep this in mind it's a lot easier if you keep your components simple and cohesive each block has its own styling or props that can be inherited or modified through the block configuration this separation keeps your code scalable so as you can see this sort of configuration for a website empowers non-technical folks to edit pages whenever they want, while you, the developer, can rest easy knowing the design won't be broken. This is also a good selling point because this can save your clients time and money. If you'd like a quick chat about building a custom page builder or need some help with your Payload CMS project, go ahead and sign up for a free 15-minute consultation. I've got a link in the description. It's short, focused, and it's all about your specific needs. I'll be doing more deep dives into Payload CMS, including advanced features like versioning, custom plugins, and more. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button to stay updated. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or concerns, leave them in the comments. I'd love to hear them. I'm Chris with Westside Tech Solutions, and I'll see you in the next video.